in front of us, we have 1 plus 3 eighths. Now, this is just a review, but it's easy to add because all we do is we bring down the 3 eighths, and then we bring down the 1, 1 and 3 eighths. However, when we have a minus, things become a bit more difficult because what we have is 1 and nothing minus 3 eighths. And we cannot subtract a smaller number 0 from a bigger number. So what we have to do is we got to borrow from the 1. We cross out the 1 and then we use the denominator from the bottom fraction which is the 8 to make an improper fraction. So now the fraction will be 8 over 8 instead of the 1. This is how we borrow. We then take the bottom number, the denominator. Since it's the same, we just bring it down. Draw the little fraction line. And then we take the top numbers, the numerators. 8 minus 3 will be 5. And since 1 minus we took away the 1, the answer will just be 5 eighths. This is how we subtract whole numbers from a fraction. So in front of us, we have 10 minus 12 eighteenths. We cannot subtract a whole number from a fraction. We will have to take the number 10 and make it into a fraction. In order to do that, we will borrow from the 10. The 10 becomes a 9, and then we have an improper fraction, and we use the denominator to make an improper fraction. So the fraction will be 18 over 18. Now we could subtract. We will just take the denominators. Since they are the same, it will stay the same. We write the 18, make the little, draw the little dividing line, and then we take the numerators. 18 minus 12 will be 6. And then we come to this whole number, the 9, subtract from 0, and the answer will be 9. 9 and 6, 18. However, this will have to be reduced. We know that the greatest common factor, the GCF of 6 and 18, will be 6. So, 6 divided by 6 equals 1, 18 divided by 6 equals 3, and the 9 we carry over right, at, right up here in front, and the answer is 9 and 1 third.